Book of Mormon, 3rd Nephi, chapter 26, verses 4 and 5, quote, And even unto the great and last day, when all people and all kindreds and all nations and tongues shall stand before God to be judged of their works, whether they be good or whether they be evil, if they be good, to the resurrection of everlasting life, and if they be evil, to the resurrection of damnation, being on a parallel, the one on the one hand, and the other on the other hand, according to the mercy and the justice and the holiness which is in Christ, who was before the world began. End quote. Alma chapter 41 verse 3, quote, And it is requisite with the justice of God that men should be judged according to their works. And if their works were good in this life, and the desires of their hearts were good, that they should also at the last day be restored unto that which is good, end quote. Want to know what Jesus said in regards to how many good people there were? The Bible, Matthew 19, verses 16 and 17. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Jesus was not denying that he was good, but he made it very clear that good applied to no person except God. I believe that this man did not believe that Jesus was God, and Jesus wanted this man to know just who he was talking to. Book of Mormon, 3rd Nephi, chapter 27, verse 15. And for this cause have I been lifted up. Therefore, according to the power of the Father, I will draw all men unto me, that they may be judged according to their works. Jesus said in the Bible, John chapter 3, verses 14 through 18, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Jesus was not crucified so that we could be judged according to what we have done. Every man who is judged according to his works is going straight to hell. For, quote, all have sinned. There is none that doeth good. There is none righteous, no, not one, end quote. Jesus came and was lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Jesus came to save us from being judged according to our works, not to make sure that that would happen. If those who accept Jesus Christ as their Savior are going to, quote, be judged according to their works, end quote, then Jesus died for nothing because he is the only one whose works could qualify him for eternal life, and his eternity was never from the very beginning in question, because God is good, and Jesus is God, and God is eternal. Book of Mormon, Alma chapter 34, verse 10, quote, For it is expedient that there should be a great and last sacrifice, Yea, not a sacrifice of man, neither of beast, neither of any manner of fowl. For it shall not be a human sacrifice, but it must be an infinite and eternal sacrifice. End quote. Jesus was not human? Let's see if the Bible says that Jesus was human and whether or not the quote, great and last sacrifice, end quote, was human, shall we? From the Bible, Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 through 8. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, 
and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verses 5 and 6 For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all, to be testified in due time. Romans chapter 5 verses 12 through 19 Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin. And so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. For until the law sin was in the world. But sin is not imputed when there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression, who is the figure of him that was to come. But not as the offense, so also is the free gift. For if through the offense of one many be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, hath abounded unto many. And not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one to condemnation. But the free gift is of many offenses unto justification. For if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. Therefore, as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Matthew chapter 1 verse 18, quote, Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together she was found with child of the Holy Ghost, end quote. Matthew chapter 1 verses 21 through 23 And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophets, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel which being interpreted is God with us. A quick comment here. Mary was a virgin at the time she gave birth to Jesus. The Holy Ghost caused Mary to be with child through non-sexual means, which is contrary to what many, if not most, Mormons believe, and certainly contrary to the official teachings of the Mormon Church. The Bible, John chapter 1, verses 1 through 3 and 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. And the Word was made flesh and dwelled among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Galatians chapter 4 verse 4 But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his Son, made of a woman, made under the law. Hebrews chapter 9 verses 14 and 15 How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? And for this cause he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the First Testament, they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance.